Hello everyone, thanks for joining. So I, I want to ask you, have you put any thought into children wearing a face mask going back to school or daycare or pre-K? And if you have, what do you expect? And to put it in perspective, I want you to think about the last time that you worked a job that you had to wear a uniform, a tie, a suit, uh, any type of uniform, and how that felt. What was the first thing that you did when you got home, or to your car for that matter? You took it off. You know, I remember my husband coming home from the casino and he couldn't, he would be unbuttoned and tied loose. We want to get comfortable, especially when we're wearing something for an extended period of time. And I don't think it's going to be any different with face masks for children as they return back to school. Asking anyone to wear any garment for an extended period of time is difficult. And when it's a child, you have to remember, kids are going to be kids and they do not understand the mandates and policies and everything that's behind this. They just want to be kids. And so my goal was to come up with something that was a solution, something that would be comfortable for them, something that they could make it through the day and not be thinking about or fidgeting with their face mask, but focusing on their schoolwork, focusing on their community, focusing on their friends, focusing on normalcy. And so today I'm going to show you this little beauty, the mini knit mask, and all the reasons why this is an ideal solution for this problem. Stay tuned. So the problem I think is solved with a very simple solution and it takes me back to my roots and a fabric that I feel is ideal for masks and that's lycra. Yes, it's a five letter word and a lot of people are intimidated by, by it, but please don't be. Actually spandex is pretty easy to sew if you know what you're doing and that's my job. I'm going to teach you that. So one of the things about this new mask that I love is I have combined lycra spandex, which this is a jersey knit that has spandex in it, and cotton. So I've created a hybrid mask and I'm so excited about this because we have all the comfort and um, ability to conform to the face from lycra, but we have the filtration needed from cotton and it's just a perfect mix. And so as you can see, I've made this one, I'm gonna bring it up to the camera a little bit. It has um, fabric that ear loops that are made out of lycra spandex and I've also created a neck loop piece here so that um, the kids can just wear it around their neck and then when they drop it for lunch or for snack time or a drink they can just drop it and they're not going to lose their mask. Very important moms, right? So here we go and here is the lycra mask that I'm making out of this mini knit that I'm calling watercolor and if I just give it a little tug and I'm going to show you this how great this is I'm going to keep everything in place and I'm just going to be able to just pull out the cotton the protection for the filtration and now we have the comfort of lycra we've combined the two for the perfect mask mini knit mask coming right up. I'm going to show you how to make this beauty. To begin the mini knit mask, you're going to need to buy a great stretch fabric, lycra, cotton, piquets, knits. To check your fabric, hold it in your hands, stretch from one inch to three or four inches, and if you get that amount of stretch in it, that's a great fabric for you to be working with for this project. I'm going to lay my fabric. I've got 20 inches on the fold. I'm going to make sure that the stretch is going the length across with my ruler. And I'm going to cut two strips here, 20 inches long by three quarters of an inch wide. And there's one. And one more. This will be the neck loop. And I'm going to cut one and a half for the ear loops. Next, I'm going to cut the pattern, also making sure that the stretch is going the width of the pattern. This pattern is made out of a plastic template. I've got an entire video on great hacks for transferring your patterns into more sustainable, long-lasting items. 
and this one I recommend for smaller patterns like face masks, bikinis, purses, things like that. Okay, we have both panels, it's time to sew. I'm gonna do a stitch connecting the cups together, but first I'm gonna put in a stretch knit needle and I'm also gonna use a plastic foot. Those are two tricks to sewing stretch fabrics. I've taken the liberty of using my serger to serge this already, but if you have a sewing machine, then it's just a matter of just doing a quarter inch stitch with your plastic foot and your stretch or jersey knit needle. Having the right needle is so important. So we're gonna do a top stitch now. We've flipped it over. I'm gonna just flatten the cup left and right and at an eighth of an inch, I'm going to just sew straight down the center. We just wanna tack down that raw edge. I absolutely love this fabric. It reminds me of Andy Warhol for some reason. It's just so whimsical. So here's another go-to. And this piece of chalk that I'm holding in my hand is about 20 years old. Yes, that's how long I've had it. I have a whole box of it. And I'm going to use it to mark one and a half inches from center on the top of the mask and also one and a half inches from center on the bottom of the mask, both left and right sides. I love Taylor's chalk because it just brushes away. It comes in various colors. And as I said, I've had this for a box of it for about 20 years. It lasts forever. And now I'm gonna take this beautiful decorative elastic that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's soft, it's silky, it's stretchy. It's 5 eighths of an inch wide. And I am just going to cut pieces to match up those notches I made with the Taylor's chalk. And now I'm just going to go back in and I'm going to trim on a diagonal to allow for the fold because I'm going to fold this elastic right into the top and bottom hems. Beautiful. It should fold right in. And now I'm going to set my sewing machine to my favorite three step zigzag, also called a multiple stitch zigzag. This stitch goes one, two, three to the right and one, two, three to the left. And it is the perfect stitch for sewing any type of lycra, spandex, stretch knits, jerseys, anything that where it needs to stretch and go over the body, over the shoulders, over the hips, anything over the nose. You you want to use this stitch and you can set probably middle middle width on your width of your zigzag and probably about three on your length you can play with it I don't want it any wider than my three eighths of an inch hem that I'm doing and yes I'm using ballpoint pins because I want everyone to be able to see in this video what I'm doing and the pins permit me to do that please don't yell at me bottom seam I'm just going to catch that elastic right in the hem I'm using my pointer here it's a little bit thick it's gonna help me get through that thick spot or I'm just gonna hold it taut from behind I never stretch the fabric you do not stretch stretch fabrics when sewing just leaving it nice and flat just pulling it enough to make it nice flat there's no need for you to stretch the fabric in this scenario Next, I'm gonna sew the casing close. I'm gonna fold at seven eighths of an inch. I'm gonna sew at five eighths of an inch with a little back tack on both ends, just to secure. This mask sews up so fast. You can get the pattern online at thestreamlineseamstress.com. It comes in three adult sizes, two child, 
and it also includes the filter pattern as well. This is a turner. It's got a little fishing hook on it and we're gonna use that in just a minute. I bought that at Joann's. Here are the strips we cut earlier, 20 inch strips. And if you cut them properly, you should be able to just pull and make gorgeous elastic string for your ear loop and neck loop. With the turner, I'm gonna go in through the casing and I am just gonna grab that and hook it like I'm fishing and just pull it right through. And the same thing with the pony beads. I'm just gonna grab that string and just pull it right through those pony beads. If you like that look, you can do that or you can knot tightly and then just turn the ear loops into the casing, whichever you prefer. And just one more time with the pony beads, I'm going to show you how lovely it works with the turner. And I've got that fabric hooked on there just like I'm fishing and it just comes right through. Easy peasy. If you're knotting the ear loops, make sure to make them just a little bit bigger than the length of the mask of the casing. Otherwise, you could use the pony beads to make them adjustable. You can knot off the ends here if you want to also. To make a neck loop, take that second piece of string, pull it, and then just put it through the ear loops and finish it with pony beads or a knot. We also have a floral lanyard that I'm going to show you how to make out of the same stuff they make candy necklaces out of. <laughs> That's another video as well as a video coming up for the filter. So I hope that you enjoyed learning how to make this beauty and all the aspects of selling spandex and creating a face mask. If you've learned something today, be sure to give me a thumbs up, ring the little bell down there when you subscribe to my channel. This way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And thank you everyone. Thanks for joining. I do appreciate you're joining and creating this community for me. It gives me a sense of purpose and I love helping you help others. Everyone, God bless, take care, and be well. Bye now.